second. Now how about we do some scripture readings from the Book of Mormon? All right! The Book of Mormon? What's that? You know, the book that Joseph Smith found. Who's Joseph Smith? <laughs> <laughs> Only the most important person in the world. You never heard of him? No. Tell us the story of Joseph Smith again, Dad. Yeah, oh, that's that's good. Good. Yeah, All right. All right, you rascals, gather around. Joseph. Peace, what it is. All right. Go find this book, Atlantis Mothership of Empires, by that cat. All right. Stop the tape, stop this video, and look at this little chart right here. This chart shows the similarities between Egypt and the Mayan culture. And I hope you can tell, but it's extensive to say the least. Okay. All right. Now, what does this have to do with South Park? Smith lived in a little American town in the early 1800s. Joseph Smith was called a prophet. Dum, 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 dum. Dumb. He started the Mormon religion. Dum, 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 dum. Dumb. There goes that kooky Joseph Smith. You know, he claims he spoke with God and Jesus. Well, how do you know he did? Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> I told my wife that you spoke with God and Jesus, and she didn't believe it. Well, it's true. I did. Where? I was out in the woods, praying. I was asking God if I should be a Protestant, or a Catholic, or what. And suddenly, God and Jesus Listen. appeared before me. Listen. And they said I should start my own church, because none of the others had it right. And that's exactly how it happened. You see? You believe it now? Well, yeah, sure. Why would he make that up? Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> Dum 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 dum. Listen to the angel. Listen to the angel. What's the angel's name? And please keep our bellies full of yum yums and luscious goodies. Oh my God! I am Morona. Morona. Or more on high. Native American? But your skin is white. Yes, long ago all Native Americans were white. We all came to America from Jerusalem. Jerusalem. And while we were here, we were visited by Christ. Jesus lived here in America? Jesus yes. here in America? Eventually, my people were all killed by the other tribe of Israel. Tribe of Israel. God turned their skin red. These are the Native Americans you know today. There's an ancient book buried near here. Down. Written on gold plates that account my people's lives. Also buried with the book are two seer stones, the Ur and the Moon, which will allow you to transcend. This is what the Mormons believe. Native Americans from here, right? The Moroni, right? What's the name of the angel who gave him the game, okay? Check it. This book, basically, this book go in. You need to get it. But in this particular part, he's speaking on the last words of Jesus when he was on the cross, right? Eli, Eli, why hast thou forsaken me? Oh, God, God, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Whatever, whatever, right? Okay, it says, in the gospel, let me see. In the gospel, St. Matthew, King James Version, chapter 27, 46, verse. Christ's disciple states that the Savior's last words were, Eli, Eli, lama sakbakani, or however you say that shit. St. Mark's Gospel, chapter 15, verse 34, records that the words as, Elo, Eloi, Eloi, lama, some, blah, 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 blah. The interpretation given in both Gospels is, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? To me, this translation has always seemed out of character. Read that, blah, blah, blah. Matthew's version is a pure Mayan sentence. So he goes in and he breaks that down. Maybe you can read it. I'm not going to read all that shit. Y'all can if you want to. Bam. And then, bam. Okay. He's basically breaking it down. How? What he, what... Christ's last words was Mayan and how the Mayan tongue is closely related to Hebrew and uh, Aramaic Arabic that all come from one mother language 
I'm not reading all this shit, but you know, y'all can do y'all can do that. And then I think I, I I think I showed that chart or whatever. But anyway, so you understand Jesus was Mayan or he spoke Mayan, right? Now, and that shit happened over here. Go find a book. I don't have it, but I'm reading it. It's called When Rocks Cry Out. Go find that book. Now, this this is the Strong's Concordance. All right. This is the, you know, dictionary of the Bible. All right, that's that word, Elo, that he says, you know, it, saying Elo, Elo, see, Matthew, or Mark 15, 34, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you go to 1682, because that's in Greek, because the New Testament is in Greek. 1682, you see, it's Elo, see it? We see that 426, that means that's where it comes from in Hebrew. So you go to that, in Hebrew. And it's 426, see? 426. You see the word is Eli? Eli? And that's the same word as Allah. It's no different. You you know, you switch the A with the E, and you got Allah. Two L's. You see what I'm saying? So you think it's a coincidence that the Savior was saying Allah, Allah, why has God forsaken me? But Jesus is supposed to be a Christian, right? Or a Jew. And Jews and so-called Muslims are supposed to be different people and shit, right? But why they use all the same words and all worship the same God? It makes no sense. So anyway, so I part know the truth about y'all, but, but as usual, you know, we sleep on it. So, <laughs> see how they talk about them? Dum 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 dum. <laughs> Peace and love.